Hey guys, this is Vane, and I have a very special video for you guys this time. And uh, I've been asked about this topic quite frequently, so by popular demand, here's an instructional video on how to play Skyrim on the Radeon HD 3000. Now, I want to make this very clear right off the bat that this video is going to include some tweaks and mods. It's going to visually degrade the game. So, please use this only if you absolutely have to play Skyrim. Otherwise, I recommend getting a good graphics card and basically letting the beauty of this game melt your eyes out of your head. Alright, so with that said, let's press onward. Alright guys, now for the boring crap. We're going to start off with a few configuration tweaks and just note that there is no need to follow along with me right now. Uh, I'm just going to show you guys a quick preview of things I've done to the configuration file. Uh, these tweak aspects of the game engine itself and degrade things visually. Now, what I've gone ahead and done is disabled all forms of shadow, anti-aliasing of course, and I've gone ahead and lowered the resolution, uh, disabled alternate forms of vertical sync, and a bunch of other nerd jargon that you guys probably aren't interested in hearing. So, I've made this INI file available for download in the description, which I'm going to ask you to do in a moment. Alright, so go ahead and pause the video now, guys, and click the link in the description and download the file. I mean, it's big, bold, cap lock letters. That's how you know it's serious. Alright, so I'm assuming you guys got the files, so now we're going to navigate to the installation directory. So we're going to go to Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Skyrim, and Skyrim again. Now we're in the configuration files. Now we're going to open the ones that we downloaded, with WinRAR of course, and then we're just going to take them, drag, drop, and replace. So make sure you hit copy and replace for all three. Say bye-bye to the old. Say hello to the new. Alright, as a precaution, go ahead and right-click on all three files. Click Properties. Make absolute certain that the read-only checkbox is checked. This will prevent the game from making changes to the configuration file. Alright, so we're going to move on to installing our first mod for this video. We're going to be using two mods, both of which are going to be very easy to install. So just follow along, you're going to have no problem. So this first mod concentrates on removing fog from interior spaces in Skyrim. So you're going to see a big frame rate increase in dungeons and other interior spaces in Skyrim with this mod. So, what we're going to do is, we're going to open it in WinRAR. Then we're going to navigate, once again, to our installation folder. And then we're going to find our data folder. Alright, so it should be, follow the path, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Skyrim, Data. Now what you're going to do is, you're just going to drag the folder from WinRAR into the installation folder. Easy peasy. Alright guys, now on to mod number two. And uh, this guy has even gone ahead and added some clever little illustrations to show exactly what his mod does, but uh, unless you speak fluent nerd like me, then they're not going to interest you too much. So, we're going to go ahead and download this, and we're going to go ahead and install it. And just follow along, and I'll show you how. Alright, so I'm obviously not going to download it, since, well, I already have it. So, this all looks pretty confusing, but it's actually no harder to install than our previous mod. Let me show you how. Alright, we're going to go to the main 
installation directory in Skyrim this time. We're not going to go into any subfolders or any of that nonsense. We're just going to go to the main install directory where your launcher and your game exe should be located. We're going to highlight all this stuff from WinRAR. And you know the drill. Drag, drop. And of course, copy and replace if you got them. And just like that, you are done successfully modded pat yourself on the back now and recap what we've done we have replaced the configuration file with ones that I have modified we have gone ahead and installed two mods which help to boost the frame rate quite a bit and here is the fruit for our labor uh, this game running at 50 frames per second on an integrated GPU that has absolutely zero business running this game. And what the hell are you trying to do? Screw you and your electricity. Oh, aiming for my knee with that arrow. Well, you missed. Oh, and uh, about the hundreds of potions of extreme health and uh, dual wielding ebony blades. Let's um, let's just go ahead and say I found them. Yeah, because that's that's totally legit at level five, right? Sure. Oh, that is it. This calls for an overly cinematic attack. guys so you probably noticed by now that the second mod that we installed kind of makes everything look a little blurry outside of five feet so good news is you can enable and disable this at will in game with the F10 key when you do it you'll hear your window sound scheme time out for a second that wasn't supposed to happen Mine happens to be voices and sound effects from portal 2 but anyway you get the point do you smell something burning? And that would be the noise I hear every time I enable the mod. Alright, so, another way to tell that the mod is active is to note the watermark in the top right hand corner of the screen. So, when you see that, you know the mod is active. Other than the stupid watermark at the top of the screen, I don't have too many nitpicks with this mod. Sure, it makes everything look like, uh, you know, you're wearing beer goggles, but I mean, well, the price you pay for an extra 10 frames per second, I suppose, on a GPU that shouldn't be running this game in the first place. No, I think I've got this one. Thanks, though. For anyone asking why, because I can. That's why. So for the remainder of the video, I'm going to walk around here, and I'm going to show you guys the difference with and without the mod. So, graphically, there isn't a huge difference, a little blurry with the mod, but without the mod, there's a considerable frame rate difference, which really makes all the difference, right? I'm here to buy food, Nazim. I suppose you don't need to worry about that. Owning a farm does have its advantages. Do you smell something burning? Be glad you're here in the city and not out in Riverwood. Need supplies? 
See Belathor at his store. It's easy to but he has good stuff. The future of Skyrim! The future of Tamriel! And there it is, friend! You guys don't know how much I want to murder this guy. But, broad daylight, too many witnesses, screw that. See? The terminology is clearly first era or even earlier. Time out for a second. That wasn't supposed to happen. It's just keep in mind that I'm using a Portal 2 sound scheme for Windows. So, you guys probably will not hear Gladys when you're enabling and disabling this mod. Uh, unless, of course, you happen to be using the same damn Windows sound scheme. I take a moment to say thank you all for watching. I really appreciate it, and I certainly hope I helped. Also, I'd like to break into game walkthroughs, so if you guys have a suggestion, suggest a game, and I'll walk all over it. Take care, guys. You went into Bleak Falls Barrow and got.